Alright, welcome back. We are here in episode 2. I've actually got quite a lot of work done, but I'm going to hold off from looking at it for a second. Um, this episode, I'm probably going to try to get a little bit of glowstone. And I'm going to modify my house a little bit as well as try to hunt down some food, because as you can see, I'm dying. <laughs> and I have none. Hold on, let me plant this flower. Right here. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, I hear sheep. But I don't think I need wool, but I just want it slaughtered anyway, because, you know, I'm a devil. Alright. Well, I might as well show my house now. Let me walk over here. Um, I don't think this is in any way complete yet. But, it's something. Um, it's hard to, it's kind of almost hard to see. I, I kind of ended up going for some kind of temple-ish design. And it, it, it sort of works, I think. But I could end up changing it and modifying it toward a cabin-ish thing. But I kind of just went with the materials that I had at the time. And I don't think it looks that bad at all. Space inside is a bit uh, cramped. But like I said, this is just a home base. And my different things are going to be in different houses. Um, why does I have this apple right here? And the fish. I kind of want to keep the fish. Just <laughs> maybe do something with later. Oh, pork chop. Alright, let me munch on this real quick. And then throw it in here. With, um, bunk. Alright. So I set up a small wheat farm here. Let me just grab this. And um, that should be simple and easy, but I kind of want to expand all sorts of things around this little pond. Which is going to be like a pond of life, I suppose. I might expand this path today. Maybe build my second house. This could be this area right here with this pond could be my farming and food area. I suppose I could have a pen at some point around here with animals of whatever kind. And maybe I can work on getting a horse in the next episode. Maybe this one, but I don't see it happening. <laughs> um but if I walk over here, I'm going to chop down one of these mushrooms real quick. Maybe make a bowl of soup. And why did I walk by without killing you? <laughs> you thought you were going to for me. Alright, um, I think an axe is what you chop these down with. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh. Like butter. Plenty. Now I need to chop down uh, one of the other kind. So I guess I'll just take a nice stroll through the forest until I can find a mushroom to decapitate. <laughs> so um, I might as well talk about the past week or so that's happened. Um, I recently bought PAX tickets for PAX East 2013, 14, and <laughs> they were, I guess I could say, a pain in the ass to get. I Missed out on the three day passes because of a 404 error that continually happened after I had selected them. When I finally had a chance to get back on to the website, three day passes were sold out 40 minutes after <laughs> they went on sale. And I had honestly thought they weren't going to sell that fast this year, but I took off lunch at school just to sit around and get them. But in the end, I ended up getting a Saturday and Sunday pass. I'm um, skipping out on a Friday because of cost. And me and a buddy of mine, Ian, or Cheese Curls 2, I think he's been in one or two of my videos in the very beginning of this channel. We're going to end up going there in April. Um, if anyone in the comments is going, leave it, uh, tell me, and maybe we can meet up or something. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, if uh, you still want to go to PAX, you might have to get scalper I think maybe Friday passes are still on sale but I heard they were low last time I looked but there's certainly a lot of um overpriced eBay auctions which I would advise against because I think the tickets become invalid if they are found out about which wouldn't be too hard since they're selling for three to five hundred dollars just for a three-day pass which is just ludicrous but if you are near the area, it, I heard it's really easy to acquire a pass just on site because of the amount of people getting them. Anyways, I'm going to 
go talk to Sunny real quick and see if I can get some glowstone from her. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm coming through the portal right now. Okay, I'm just here combating off these zombies. Nice. <laughs> Die. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of work <laughs> since you came. Oh, nice. Um, I've been, I had some soup, though. Here's some... Um, oh, thank you. And I, I felt bad for not if I wasn't going to pay you it for it, so I made you two <laughs> iron blocks. <laughs> You didn't have to, but it's okay, all right. I'll take it. <laughs> just shush it. Just take it. There you go. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna see if this looks. I think this is gonna look good. Let's see. Wait, I forgot how to make close It's is just, it just um, four. Ah. Two, two by two. Yeah. Oh man, does Zippo know you're using this much mossy cobble away from his legs <laughs> and garden? <laughs> I tried to sell it some to him, and he said that he doesn't have money to buy it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like that. I think I awesome. might add some slabs up there, too, in a minute. But thank you. I was thank waiting you. for that because I didn't want to die in the nether. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You didn't have to pay me. But no, it's not a big deal. Uh, much appreciated. It's a tip. It's a tip. Yeah, it's a tip. Just a tip. Awesome. I'm gonna give this other mushroom soup to Mithy. Alright. See okay. ya. See ya. Alright, I'm back. That was Sunny, by the way. Um, Hopefully we'll be seeing more of her in the future and other friendly people on this server. Um, I think I like the look of the glowstone in it. It kind of gives it off a neat little look and it, it's gonna help me find my house when I'm lost in this deadly forest. Um, I'm probably going to end up taking a lot of these lights out at some point, and then maybe having it to be a little bit dangerous, maybe that'll add a little bit of fun into it. I made a, a lot of soup, and I put most of it on my chest, but, on my, no, in my chest, not on it, oh god. <laughs> but, um, I still need to kill a couple animals just to, uh, have some general things, so. Let me just kill a couple of these pigs, and it's probably not safe for me to be out here right now. But I think I'll be alright. I swear I just saw a pig. So, future episodes, um, I might head into spawn and help out with a few things. Or I may just continue my forest community. And tell me in the comments if you like the way my house is built, or if you have any suggestions for changing it. Um... Because I'm not really stuck on this design, but I think it looks kind of cool in its own way. Now, I'm just going to let all these sheep roam. But if, if one of these eats any of this grass, I'm going to punch it in the face. And if you hear screaming in the background, there may or may not be a football game going on. So I apologize. But it's just something you guys can deal with, right? You can laugh about it in the comments all you want. Um... Oh god. Okay, well, he's just gonna think I'm really excited. <laughs> I didn't have mean to have caps on. Now, um, a few other things. I am going to go caving, and it, tell me in the comments if you want to see me go caving, or if I should just do it off camera. I don't want to bore you guys, but it is decent footage sometimes, especially if things go wrong. I'm gonna head back to spawn because I heard that Sippo's Thingama Zen Garden got renamed. So, just run that way. Ta-da! And, um, Sunny's house is actually that way. We're, we're basically, uh, nether neighbors. How about just run this way? Oh god, I hate that sound. <laughs> I hate the nether so much. I don't know how many videos I'll have in the nether, but... I may just come for more glowstone and such, just for you guys. I'll risk it. I still need an enchanting table for the home, and a diamond pick will be nice. I'm not really worried about full diamond armor, and it kind of just scares me. Safe drop. I don't trust that drop. <laughs> I don't trust their promises. Oh, maybe it was a safe drop. Um... It was, wow. Maybe I should, 
I should have put more trust in them, I guess. Here's another puppy. I'm not really sure who this is. And it's actually pink. Can you... Uh, tell me in the comments. I guess you can dye their collars now? I haven't really been keeping track of a lot of the updates. More of just the bigger ones that are more noticeable I know of. Fishing shack, we can leave. Hmm. Might have to visit there soon also. Jukebox, still stolen. Um, if you see Jukebox laying around, um, please report it to the authorities because it is still missing. Now let's go see how this got renamed. And I see Zippo up there on his perch. So I'm gonna, oh god, ah! <laughs> um, uh, okay. That was a good shot. <laughs> he nailed me. Let me just put away my sword. Soup seems more friendly. Um, boom, boom. The Let Zebo commemorative Zen Garden is the place of. I thought they renamed it. Maybe they did. Maybe I just forgot it. Uh, I have to do this every episode now. Let's see. Still has a fishing rod up his ass. So. <laughs> That's good. Oh, he's gonna get angry at that. He doesn't like me touching his horse's donkey's ass. <laughs> Anything new in here? Chiseled stone. And the map has a corner now. Wait, maybe it doesn't. Huh. Apparently Fuzz's donkey died, and he has a new one. No. Maybe it was a different donkey. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Let me give him a pull soup. Um, I really want a couple of these actually. I might use this wood at some point. So may have to get a few. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a good shot. MLG. Yep. Yeah, uh, let it be known. Um, Lit Zippo is MLG Pro Circuit. I didn't even take my soup. What an ass. MLG Pro Circuit though. Watch him on Twitch. <laughs> anyway, let's head out of here. I don't think anything else is new in spawn. Um, besides a couple more, what do I call them? Just say additions added to this house. Oh, I'll have to check out that island actually. It's pretty neat. The seaside shack. Let me just run off the edge of this. Oh, maybe never mind. Um, fishing rods. So this is the fishing dock they were talking about. I'm gonna run over to MJ's place and see what this little this little wall he's got going actually looks pretty neat. I like the design of it. Let me just swim over here. Maybe if I offer him soup, he won't kill me. Yeah, take that soup. Look at it. No, nope. where'd it go? <laughs> they get flew into the ocean. <laughs> well, not my problem. Let me give him a real soup. Take that soup. You take that soup. Oh, Sunny is dead. Hopefully she didn't lose the stuff I gave her. <laughs> oh, look at this horse. Wow clad it out right here man let me just reach into this uh, ass real quick I just love asses nothing if I just leave a yeah, I'll just leave a bowl of soup in his ass <laughs> all right well besides that um more awesome wall has been put on this sanctuary I think there is something new in the skeleton spawner. I'll have to go look. But other than that, spawn is still pretty neutral, but it's only day three of the server, so I don't expect it to change too much until about a couple weeks in. Hopefully new things will happen. I know we need a town hall in some sort of central point for us all to um, hang at, I guess, and put a real portal in besides that one. And hopefully that will be done soon, but I'm not even sure who's on the project. Maybe I'll volunteer. Um, 
Big buildings are weird for me sometimes. I'm more of a shacky person, really. Um, okay. Ah, wow. I thought there was something new added. This is really nice. It makes it feel less like a um, death trap, really. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm killing skeletons. I feel like I'm in the place of Zen. Which really, killing skeletons is Zen. Because I hate them with my oh, passion. Is there anything over here? Just a pumpkin. This is really nice. Um, I guess if I ever want to come fishing, this will be the place. That or Sunny's uh, Lagoon, which you can check out in her video. It's very nice. And for some reason, it gives you the best loot out of any place on the server. Let's just soften these guys up real quick. Um, yeah. I'd advise you guys to check out the subreddit and... Oh. Oh. Oh, baby. Okay. There we go. I just needed a couple of those. Can kill these guys real quick? Ow, oh, hit me. What a guy. Guessing he has, um, hitty back on his armor. Anything cool? Nope. Stick this bow in here. Damn. Hmm. I'm not sure if this armor is just taken armor. I think you can just take it, but I don't think I need any. Unless there's like a fast shoes. Nope. Some pretty good stuff in here, though. Anyway. Um, I guess I'll wrap this episode up now. Um, I don't think there's much more to say, really. Um, I will definitely work on some more stuff next episode on camera. I think I'm going to work some more on those pathways and maybe head to spawn and build some sort of new thing. We just need more stuff here. Maybe we'll introduce a shop at some point. <laughs> I'm not sure what I should sell, though. I'll have to uh, think about it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did, and um, subscribe if you want to see more. Anyways, have a great day, guys, as we watch... Who is that? Fuzzbox? Let's watch Fuzz... Let's, let's watch him right off into the distance. Look at him. He's so, he's so majestic.